Miss Jacobson here, Principal West High School, with our guest today, which is Brittany Conkle. We always call her Britt, and she is the person who puts these videos together. She is um, clerical extraordinaire. She is the person who greets you in the main office when you have a question, and she's just an all-around go-to gal. All right, let's jump right in. Parent-teacher conferences are virtual again this semester, and the last two dates are this Thursday and Friday. If you haven't scheduled yet, follow the link on your screen or call the main office to schedule your conference. To allow for conferences, this Friday will be an early release day. Students and families have received the early release bell schedule in their email. All cohort A students, including freshmen, will be on site next Monday, March 8th, and Tuesday, March 9th. Cohort B students will report on Thursday, March 11th, and Friday, March 12th. That includes freshmen as well. During the days that students are not on site, they need to log into their classes virtually. Wednesday will continue to be a virtual learning day, during which all students will need to continue to check into advisory period and work independently. While we are in the blended learning model, meals can be picked up in the East parking lot on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 9.15 to 10.15. On Wednesdays, they can be picked up from door 9 from 9.30 to 12.30. Students in the virtual learning will still be able to pick up materials from door 9 during meal services, but it's only Wednesdays from here on out. Picture day will be next week for students who did not attend registration back in August. Cohort A students will be able to get their pictures on Tuesday, March 9th during lunch periods in the cafeteria. Cohort B students will be able to get pictures taken on Friday, March 12th during their lunch period. Virtual students will be able to come in 9.30 to 12.30 on March 10th, Wednesday, in the cafeteria um, which is the same time we have meals pick up um, and they will enter through door 9 and we can get their pictures taken. During picture days, students will receive their school ID and if a student attended registration in September but since has misplaced their ID, um, they can report to the main office. The Help for the Homeless campaign runs through March 7th. There's a box in the main office where donations can be dropped off. If you're looking for some ideas uh, to support and help our homeless community here in the Green Bay area, shampoo, soap, body wash, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, feminine products, cleaning supplies, laundry soap, diapers, wipes, or other paper products are suggested donations. Donations remain in the community where they are collected so anything you give will be distributed in the Green Bay area. The district has partnered with Gaggle Safety Management to keep students safe when they use the Google educational tools. Gaggle identifies inappropriate words and images in Gmails, Google Drives, Google Docs, and Google Hangouts, the Google Chats, and then once something is identified as being inappropriate, trained professionals then contact the school. We get alerts if students are having inappropriate conversations with each other through those Google Hangouts and those Google Chats. So if you want to know how that works, please check out the link on your screen right here. So know that nothing that is being said in those Google Classrooms or in the Google Hangouts or the Google Chats is private. Brittany, you were um, instrumental in helping us gather information um, to make our interviews possible last month for Black History Month, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's kind of like what an IB school is meant to do. You're supposed to pose a question, right? You know, do an inquiry. And that is, um, and my inquiry was, how easy is it to learn about black businesses in the Green Bay area? And and um, since I'm the principal, I asked you to answer that question, right? You know, and what what did you what did you figure out? So I learned that there's not a really, uh, you know, uh, one resource that you can go to to find black-owned businesses. I know that a lot of cities 
um, across the U.S. have resources like that, directories and such. We don't really have that in Green Bay. So I was able to find some articles from the Green Bay Press Gazette that had covered some black-owned businesses, and I had to do a little digging to find them. Um, but I do have to say I'm, I'm really glad that I did because we learned about some really amazing um, black business owners. Yeah, that are doing wonderful work in the community. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, I guess this is a, an important thing, you know, and, and maybe it is something that um, we have personal projects, we have students who are doing um, service hours here at, at West through the DP program, and it could be a project that they could work on, and that is creating some kind of directory that would be easy to access. Um, uh, so that people could go easily to that own business. It. We've done these series basically because we didn't have um, uh, kids in the building. We wanted to uh, communicate with families directly in the ways that we knew would be effective. Um, do we, we don't. We envision keeping these videos going. It would be really wonderful if we had students involved. We had. Uh, maybe even some parents coming in involved, you know, like, like we imagine that this could be a really great opportunity to continue communicating um, with not only the current um, uh, uh, Wildcats, but the alum that are Wildcats that are kind of checking in and seeing um, how things are going at West. Uh, any thoughts on, on uh, what else we think we should be seeing with these videos? Oh, I think you just hit the nail on the head. We want these to be interactive. We want you on the other side of this to kind of join us and be a part of this. You know, we want this to be more of a conversation. So we're communicating information out to our families and students, but we also want them to contribute and be part of the information that we're getting to the rest of the Wildcat families. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a really important point. Yeah. yeah. So how that happens and how we do that, uh, we can't say for sure. Um, and. Uh, we're reopening and so there's going to be some different demands on the time so I guess the short of it is is that we may not be um, coming out with a video every week like we were before until we figure out a system in which we can re recommit to that but right now like we just want to keep everybody safe in the building you know Absolutely. so that's going to be our number one priority well wildcats um we're we're seeing freshmen we saw a lot of freshmen this week we're going to see more tomorrow and then everybody is back in the building on on monday so we're not out of this pandemic yet um uh, the numbers are still really really good and really low but to keep those numbers low and to keep us buzzing along we need everybody to continue wearing their masks we need everybody to social distance we need you washing your hand i wash my hands so much that they're dry i don't think i'm ever gonna <laughs> <laughs> Winter skin is a year-long thing now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and we, and if you can stay home, please stay home. Yeah. Until we're we're down to almost zero. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Thanks, Wildcats. Have a great week.